Push it hard. Good. Push, 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 push. Father Adam Ryan takes a breath test to measure his lung function. It is part of his ongoing treatment for emphysema. After two decades of heavy smoking, he was diagnosed with chronic pulmonary obstructive disease, or COPD. It was the wake-up call he needed. I can't uh, overestimate uh, just the benefits of being smoke-free. Uh, I embraced then uh, a healthier diet and started uh, exercise. Though he has severe COPD, it is stable. His experience mirrors the results of a new research study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Dr. Stephen Menard, a COPD expert at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, was a critical part of the research team. He says this study is significant. And what this means is our thinking about COPD should change. Uh, for physicians, this means that the expectation of what will happen for patients uh, it should be different. Some people will, should, can remain stable and some may even improve. For patients, this is important because it offers hope uh, that their disease may not relentlessly progress. Researchers also discovered that the people who have moderate COPD decline faster than those with severe COPD. This means that studies that are designed to intervene to alter the course of the disease really should focus on people with moderate disease rather than people with severe disease. And that's a difference in approach than has been taken in the past. New approaches for doctors and researchers mean hope to patients like Father Ryan. My own experience uh, is that uh, with the treatment that's available to me, the wonderful medicines, uh, and with my own uh, healthy choices, uh, I am not worsening. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing as long as you possibly can. And Instead, he is maximizing his life with every breath.